Hi, I'm Tom. This is Joe. We're with SmartVent. We're going to show you how to install a 1540-524 garage door model. This is an insulated flood vent. It's got the exact same installation method and process as our 1540-574, which is a little bit smaller version than this uh, vent I'm holding here. But the 524 is 16 inches wide by 8 inches tall. It's got that insulated core, uh, R value of 8.34 but it's designed to be installed in a garage door. It's got a special cam system that holds the flood door in place as the garage door goes up and down. We powder coat paint it white from the factory because most of those garage doors are white. You're gonna get some hardware, and Joe's gonna go through exactly how we utilize that hardware. Correct, so the first thing we have here is our uh, nut and bolt system. The next thing we have is our back plate, which is also going to serve as our template. So what you're going to do is place the back plate on the front of your garage door panel and using a mar magic marker, create a, or box it out from the interior of this back plate. Also marking the holes in each corner um, as well. So you're gonna use the inside, inside to actually trace correct. your rough opening and then make sure you mark each one of those corners. So correct, correct. We have this garage door, it would be elevated to a nice working height. We're using the lowest panel on the garage door because you need to have your vents within 12 inches Correct. of the highest adjacent grade directly below it. So in this case, it's the lower panel. We traced it out. Now that's uh, a nice flush mounting surface. You might use our 1540-574, which is 14 and a half inches wide by eight and a half inches tall, if your panel was configured a little bit differently. Because we don't want the seams of the corner to kind of overlap, because when you go to tighten those bolts, it could crease the end of the corners of the vents. So with this panel, the 16 inch by 8 inch vent really worked out well. Correct. All right, so we have this one traced out, and what you're going to do next is really take your reciprocating saw and a fine tooth metal blade. Correct. And what we're going to do is we've got a, a hole cut out right in this panel over here, so we'll, we'll switch gears. And, and now we have our holes in each corner, we have our rough opening, and first step is we're really going to take the flood door outside of the frame, make sure those black float pins are pointing towards you as you remove the vent out. So we'll put that in a nice safe spot so it doesn't get scratched or damaged. And we're just going to work with the vent frame. You can see there's a weather gasket on the inside, keep any bugs or insects uh, from getting in. And then Joe, what do we do next? Uh, the next thing you're going to do is a place the, frame, uh, the vent frame itself into your rough opening and removing your hardware from its bag. Now we like to apply a uh, bead of adhesive, hurry bond, there's a white colored uh, adhesive slash caulking. So we'll apply that bead around the flange and then we're going to go ahead and get that vent inside of that opening just like you see there. And then what Joe's going to do is he's actually going to run around the back side here. I'm going to slip those bolts through and as you have this garage door up you're easily able to go in and out. It always helps if you have an extra set of hands. So what we'll do is simply just run those through bolts through Just like that, Joe's kind of holding it in place. Now he's taking those, um, those nuts, threading them on to those uh, through bolts. And then what we can do is we can start to actually uh, fasten them down. We got these over here. All right, so we got that last bolt in there. Um, it's good to have, obviously, a screw gun with you, 3 8 wrench allows you to hold that nut on the other side. Next step is, Joe's gonna install the door inside the, uh, the vent frame. So you're gonna wanna make sure that your float pins are facing out once again. There's a little track, and that track is where you slide that vent door in place, and now it's installed. It's, it's, it's pretty much done, ex except for we wanna install two security clips. So these security clips, as Joe's popping that one in, all they're gonna do is prevent that door from floating out during a flood situation. Floods are violent, so Joe popped in that one on that right side. You're gonna pop one over here on the left-hand side, and that door is then complete. The final finishing touch, recommend that you take white hurry bond, and you're gonna apply a bead around that flange, right? Acts as a caulk, gives you a really nice finish um, uh, vent installation, and after that, you're done. That's really how you install a 1540-524 in a garage panel, along with a 1540-574 if you needed the smaller size.